Good afternoon. Um, I've been wanting to try and find a way of remotely turning on um, my machines. Um, I've tried various different things quite unsuccessfully. They work for a while and then they don't work and there's lots of messing around you have to do. Um, and I've recently discovered um, a program called uh, Add to Pad, uh, which does absolutely wonderful things. I'll put a link down in the bottom for everything that I mention uh, during the video. Um, so, I, so I wasn't sure how to go about it. So I I knew that a thing called uh, Wake on LAN was available because I'd used that years and years and years ago. So I've put an app on my phone for for that precise purpose. So I can use my phone to turn on um, the computers if I'm not in the room, as long as I'm connected to the same network. Um, I've now got that connected to Alexa. Um, there's a few things I'm going to show you in this video, but the first one is um, turning my machines on basically uh, with voice control using Alexa. Um, the two machines that are here uh, are independent. That, obviously that one's a laptop. Uh, this one here is a desktop. They're independently run. Uh, they're both connected to the same network using a home plug there. Uh, that's just a base bin. That's a little speaker. Um, and that's where you can see what everything else is. Um, so let's give it a go. Uh, I've changed Alexa's name um, because it gets confused every time it hears her name. It turns itself on and tries to do all sorts of weird stuff. So I've changed it. Uh, so here we go. Let's give it a go. Computer, power the office. Sorry, I don't know that one. Ah, that's right. The reason that didn't work is because the command is different. I do apologise. Computer, trigger the office. Sending the 2ift. So she's sending the 2ift, which is um, a command to the phone, basically, um, along the network to turn the two machines on. The PC has just come on, uh, and I've just received a, received a message saying the office is booting. And as you can see, the laptop has come on already. Um, my main machine takes a little bit longer because my main machine has to be set into... Um, hibernate mode otherwise it's just too noisy um, but the laptop is just setting uh, in, into quiet mode so um, it's pretty good uh, as you can see the machines are both booted up uh, there's a couple of windows open there that shouldn't be open I'll just close those um, okay so things that you might want to do um, using uh, voice control on your laptop is obviously open on, on both machines. Sorry, is open programs. Um, so I got got it all working on my machine. So I opened my email and stuff like that. It was fantastic. And I thought, well, I've got the two machines. Well, actually, I've got three machines. I've got another little laptop over there. But I thought, I've got the two machines here. Um, and I thought, well, they're both good at different things. So you know, I want to do run different programs on them. Uh, but I might want to open them at the same time. So I've installed Add to Pad's um, web extractor on both machines, and they run independent, <coughs> independently, even though they're controlled by the same commands from Alexa. So to open my email on this machine, um, the command is the same, it's email, um, but the line of script that it goes to is actually um, Outlook. Okay, And on, on my laptop, it's my... Google account, which opens a web page and then, and then goes into my Gmail account. Um, it won't, doesn't log into my Gmail account because I haven't set that up yet. Um, but let's give that a go. Um, what you'll find is Alexa will tell you that it can't do things, um, but what it actually will do is send the commands to do them anyway. Uh, it will tell you that it's sorry it can't help, and then all of a sudden uh, your stuff will come up on the screen. So let's try and open the emails. Um, computer, email. I can't send emails. Okay, so she said that it can't send emails. We know she can't send emails, that's fine. Yeah, she can't do it yet. Okay, on that machine you can see my Hotmail account has come up. And on that machine, um, the login for my uh, Hotmail, uh, um, Gmail account has come up. Um, that's pretty fantastic, I think. Okay, so let's close these down. Um, let's close that down. Close this one down as well. Um, the other thing is, again, just to, just to show that they're both running independently, um, I've got OpenOffice installed on this machine, and I've got uh, an unregistered version of um, Office 
Microsoft Office on here, just to show you um, that you can use the same command to open two programs basically on two separate machines. Now you could do it on one machine, if you had two monitors running on the same machine, uh, you could have it, you could just have the one machine running and have two separate programs open on two separate screens. But I, I just thought this was really a really nice aspect of, of the program that you can run machines independently. Um, so, computer, open office. I'm not quite sure how to help you with and that. And again, Alexa will tell you that she can't do that. Um, but as you can see, uh, open office is just opened on th that screen there. And Microsoft Office is opened on that one there. Um, pretty fantastic. If, if you're doing studio work, um, you, you know, you can just open things up really, really quickly. Um, you can carry on working on the, on the one thing while you're opening something on, on the other screen. If you're doing video editing, adding music, stuff like that, I think it's really fantastic. A really quick way of getting things up and running without having to uh, use different mics, <laughs> bits and pieces like that. Um, I, I think that's absolutely brilliant. Um, so I, one of the other things you can do, and obviously we know Alexa plays music. Um, I have got Alexa connected up to my system underneath here, um, but for today's purposes I, I haven't, just to take away the confusion. Um, but you can play music obviously using Alexa. Um, but what you can also do is you can ask Alexa to play the music, but you can also get information to come up on the screen. Um, so for instance, I don't know, um, computer, play Sex Pistols. Shuffling songs by Sex Pistols. Okay, so there you can see, I don't, it, it should, what it should have done uh, was open the full page for a start. I think I must have opened it um, smaller, but you can see that a page opened automatically there onto YouTube. So you've got Sex Pistols videos. On the other screen, um, you've got a Wikipedia page telling you all about the pistols. Uh, and on this page is, I'll just double click that so you can see it a bit clearer, uh, is information about where they lived, who they were. Um, I think these are some of Johnny, Lock, Johnny Rotten's houses, um, recording studios, pubs they played in. Uh, and obviously Alexa's playing the music in the background as well. I'm just gonna stop that a sec. Computer, stop. What you'll also see is, because I said stop, um, you should, they're more than likely to get some yeah, pictures of stop signs coming up. Um, and it'll probably happen over there as well, yeah. Um, I, it's absolutely fantastic. I, I really think this is a brilliant, brilliant thing. Um, Alexa um, and the guys that are behind these bits of software, um, absolutely fantastic. And, you know, it, it works for anything, so you could do a search for um, computer. Tell me about bricks. I don't know why I said bricks. The three little pigs. <laughs> okay, she, she heard three little, little pigs, pigs, okay, but um, in a second. Oh, that didn't work, that's funny. Okay, computer, um, play the Ramones. Shuffling songs by Ramones. Okay. So, yeah, on there you can see songs have come up on YouTube about the Ramones, and on here, Again, the Wikipedia page on Ramones, and, and Alexa just started playing Ramones songs. Um, absolutely fantastic. I think it's really, really good. Um, like I say, I'll leave, leave a link in the bottom of this video for you. Um, there are tutorials on it on the links that I'll save for you. Um, I've really only started messing around with it recently. I'm sure there's so many much better things you can do with it and get it much more organised. And I haven't even looked at lights yet or anything like that. It's, this is just Alexa, bits of software, and the computers. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, speak again. Bye.